you know, I hate making videos like this. I see a lot of YouTubers doing it. And, uh, you know, I don't like skill-based matchmaking. And there's no way to be a computer system. There just isn't. As much as you want to sit there and say, oh, I'm going to beat this thing by reverse boosting or I'm going to beat it with VPN nuts. Just face it, boys. The system always wins. It's like going to gamble. The house always wins. I'm sorry. That's the way it goes. Unless you're with a computer system beating the system, they're really not going to beat the system. It's just the way it goes. You see my frustrations day in and day out. And unfortunately, AI is the future. AI. Artificial intelligence. Yeah, we know. We know the terminology. We all get it. We see it on a daily basis now. It's all in, in, in art. It's in your phone system now. Like, yeah, Come on, Samsung has AI into their phone now. Some things are good and some things are bad. People use boosting. Ada artificial intelligence programs to sit there and boost things like playstations and whatever you may want so that they can sit there and sell it to you back at a even greater price it's in our freaking games now it's also in a in a, in a it listens to your conversations it has it so what you can not cuss or say malicious things to people which i understand in some cases it's kind of cool but now with skill-based matchmaking or eom which is engagement optimized matchmaking it takes another turn for the worst. It makes it so that your fun is pretty much limited. And why does it do this? Well, I would like to sit there and say it does it for a great purpose, but then again, it's proven to be time and time again for garbage, for garbage purposes. None of it's actually beneficial to us as, as a consumer or a person that does anything with AI. Is nothing, there is nothing beneficial in any way, shape or form to us as people. Yeah, it might sit there and make your games somewhat less toxic but i mean call of duty has always been toxic and any game for that fact is toxic nowadays in general you got to sit there and play with your 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 voip or voice whatever it's called uh with it off that's what i do i just turn it off i don't want to be reported for being a person because that's what you're being reported for it's not the fact that you're toxic you because the game's frustrating the game's already frustrating the skill-based matchmaking makes it more intensified and frustrating it makes it more agitating so what do you do? You just turn it off. And then we move on to, you know, what I like to call conspiracy theories. Because that's what I feel like some of this stuff is. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's AI, all the AI. Whether it's in your phone or your microwave, I don't care where it's at. It's, it's, it's in your toilet bowl. I don't know, man. But I feel like all this stuff is working together. Yeah, I know. It sounds a little bit weird. But how is that, right? Well, AI collects your habits. It collects the what you do online collects what you do as a, as a daily basis. It reads the potentiometers or whatever, the gyros inside your phone if you didn't know that. It really does. Things like Facebook and all that actually get your info and reads things through your phone so that it could sit there and read you as a person. It gets all these details within your life on a daily basis and it basically reads you. This is what you are. It's frustrating because a lot of the time you just really wanna just live life. And the only way to live life is to not have anything that's electronic within it. You know what I mean? Like, because everything nowadays is built to read you. Doesn't matter if you're playing a video game, going shopping, or even just taking an order at McDonald's. Everything is based to read you. You're the algorithm. You're the person that AI is contoured to. We as humans are sit there... And we're actually conditioned nowadays to sit there and do certain things. You think all these things are random? No, man. You're conditioned to think a certain way, to do certain things. That's why we all, as a person in humanity, we can't even get along. Because the system is playing all of us. All of us as a whole. You want to believe it's just variety. But technically it's not. It's the algorithm that plays us. It's humanity versus the machine. Kind of like just like Terminator. Terminator really had a great thing going on. And guess what? Now we're living it. It's almost that like they give these these movies that sit there and put reality into perspective, and the perspective is basically the reality. Yeah, I know I sound a little bit left-filled. I mean, all this is left-filled. In, in order to sit there and not be a part of it, you have to pull yourself outside the box. Don't think normal. I mean, getting rid of all the electronics is a, is a pretty drastic measure. 
I'm literally recording with two PCs right now. Why on earth would you do this, right? I mean, all this stuff is you have to literally de-bloat Windows. You have to de-bloat your phone in order for stuff to work properly. It's got all this stuff reading you in the background. And every time you go to its website, it talks about cookies, etc., etc. This is all AI features based to read you, based to read every single website that you go to. Everything that you do on a daily basis is technically stored in like this database. You got a number, a virtual number, kind of like Call of Duty has a number in the lower left hand corner. That represents you. It's your number and it reads everything about you. And all this database, all this stuff about you goes into this large database. And yes, again, this is conspiracy theory, but it really seems to hold validity when you really think about it, when you sit there and think outside the box, when you're not within the specs of the normal, what do you call it? I guess the normal society. And we're just taught that this is normal. This is normality, you know what I mean? This is the way kids don't think nothing of it. They feed right into it. It's invaded everything from Photoshop to the normal online things to just video games. And this just to swing back, back to video games, because this is pretty much what my channel's about is it just, it really makes it for a frustrating experience. Everything in the game just seems so fake. Yeah, I get wins. Yeah, I win games. I mean, it's, we all are uh, bound to win a game if you're playing for hours on end, but it just doesn't make the experience more enjoyable anymore. I can't really game for hours like I used to. And if I do, I have to go into other games that actually have more AI into it. Believe it or not, yes, more AI. Stuff like Combat Master and Battlefield 2042 because there's a lot of AI in there. And the thing is, is there's so much AI in, in 2042 that you won't even know who's real and who's not because it mimics real players. And it gives you the illusion that you're winning. So with that being said, you feel like you're having fun. Now you got over here on Call of Duty and Call of Duty, so they say it has bots, but it doesn't have the learning experiences and stuff like that Battlefield has already progressed with. I mean, do you really think that there's going to be servers with 128 players or whatever it is, plus another server with 64 man servers? Plus, I mean, if you've ever been on Battlefield, you would know that there's multiple multiple servers of freaking everything in there and that's just it goes back from battlefield 2 all the way to battlefield 2042 especially with portal and how can there be that many players on it you know what i mean that mean that that would be like one of the top played games ever because it has so many so many people but it technically it doesn't and call of duty aims for that illusion you know what i mean you go and play invasion you know they're bots but when you go play ground war eh, you know it kind of shortens the load and gives you a small player base because, well, they try to use authentic players. I mean, you get faced with these sweaty players and whatever's in the game. And you get, I mean, really, who really wants to face sweaty players? I've heard good players get frustrated with sweaty players and bad players get frustrated with sweaty players. It's just kind of a, a thing of Call of Duty or any game for that fact, you know what I mean? But soon, soon, mark my words, AI is going to be playing you. It's going to be playing you worse than what Call of Duty or Battlefield has done or anything you've ever seen in Call of Duty. I guarantee it. This is the reason why people use all these cheat programs and so on and so forth. And mind you, there is really an anti-cheat out there that could actually get these people that actually cheat with 99.9% .9 accuracy. It makes you wonder why Call of Duty hasn't implemented because they got their own stuff. Because maybe, maybe, just maybe, and I've said this before. Maybe the people at Call of Duty are technically some of the people on the other side as well. And now they laid off 1,900 employees? Hmm. Is cheating going to get worse? We're about to see. Anyways, I'm sorry, boys. I had a rant. I know. I'm a, I play video games. I stream. And if I made you think about anything in this, you know what I mean? Then hit that like and hit that sub, man. Because, you know, this is just me. I pretty much rant about stuff like this on a daily basis. But one thing's for sure. Be in the world, but don't be of the world. And that's from the Bible.